Welcome to another roof design idea for people who are going to be filling in an area in between a detached garage and an existing house where you have a hip roof on both of the buildings. And in our first example, we are going to start with a roof that will have the same framing plate roof heights and in a situation where the fascia board will be lining up. So let's go ahead and go around to the back and then take a view from above to where the hips meet in the center here. And this is a 20 foot by 20 foot building. And this is a 20 foot by 30 foot building. Next up, let's go ahead and fill in the roof framing. So we're going to have a ridge that will connect to the other ridge here. And since the building is the same width, if you remember 20 foot and then this one here was 20 foot, except this one here was a little longer, then everything is going to line up and really look like it was built this way originally. Next up, let's go ahead and provide you with a better view of what it would look like with all of the roofing and the fascia board. And you can see here where we have our existing hips from the garage and then our new roof ridge and then our new valley here to provide us with our first design. In our next example, I'm going to raise the wall height two feet, which will also add two feet to the height of this building here and provide us with a different design that might look something like this. So here we're adding a ridge and then two hips along with a roof cricket here that is going to be angled down to each end and also provide us with a way to shed water off of the two roofs. And then since we have raised the roof, the fascia board is going to die into this roof here. This fascia board is going to die into the hip here. And we will have something similar on the other side. And for those of you who cannot imagine what it's going to look like, let's go ahead and finish everything off with our closed eaves. Of course, your overhang might look a little different if you aren't going to close the eaves. And then, of course, this part right here will die into the roof here. And then, of course, we have our roof drainage cricket. And of course, if you live in an area where it snows, this could be an area that's going to accumulate a lot of snow. So you might want to modify the design and get another view here of how the fascia board is going to die into the roof there. Go under. We can see here where the roof is going to come up a little bit along with our raised wall there. Another view of that section come around here and then of course this part of the hip will have a little section of roofing here and if you do live in an area where it snows then you might want to use this design and you can see where we got rid of the roof drainage cricket and then brought the ridge over and remember this is the raised section and we're kind of going to be stepping down in two sections so we're going to be stepping down here and then our ridge and then stepping down here to another ridge. And of course, another design that might work better for you. However, it will probably be a little more difficult to build. It's going to work better than by all means use this one here or try to figure out something else that's going to work a little better. And even though I dropped this ridge down twice, you might actually be able to come right off of this if that will work better for you. In our third and final example, I will raise this section of the building two feet to provide us with another roof design, except I am also going to take the building over here and move it back three feet to provide you with an example of what your roof might look like if the front of this building didn't line up with the front of this building. And of course, here you can see where we have added a ridge. And then this part of the roof is going to die into the building here. And then it's going to pretty much look the same on the other side. And then let's go ahead and finish off the building to where we have matching stucco and no more remodeling lines. And you can see here where this section of the roof is now going to be sitting on top of this roof. And this section here will butt up against the building here. Next up, let's take a look at another view here from the bottom. Another view here. 
Next up, let's head over to the area where the valley, to where the valley could accumulate snow, except it's not going to be accumulating as much as the previous example. And then since we have moved this side of the building back, we're going to end up with something like this on the front side. And hopefully you now have a few more ideas for your home remodeling project if you are going to attach a detached garage to an existing house.